Hi, Keith. I guess right out of the gate, I, I noticed on Sunday, I guess I know Roger had been ruled out and then he was carted back on the field on the side to kind of stand on the sideline, which I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Is that because he wanted to kind of watch history, be there with his teammates, you know, in the event the team won? It was, do you know anything about why he did that? Yeah, I actually, um, <clears throat> I don't, uh, you know, I'd be speculating if I, if I said one way or another, but, you know, I have a feeling he just, he's a great teammate and um, he wanted to be out there with those guys knowing it wasn't just about, you know, Derek and being a 2000 yard rusher, which, which was awesome that Derek was able to do that, but also because it was the conference, you know, the divisional championship on the line. So it's important to him. And, and, and as far as as far I know, everybody kind of shares in, in everyone's success. But uh, I know Dennis talked about after the game. Quiz talked about it leading up to the game. How much pride your group take in, in blocking for a two thousand yard rusher? Oh man, <clears throat> I think it's special, and um, you know it takes everybody. It's it's you know from you know the GM to the head coach to the to the to Arthur calling the plays the way he calls the game, and then of course you know, all 11 on the field. I mean, you know, it's a, it's truly a, you know, it's something I will never forget. I don't think these players will ever forget um, because it's such a, uh, it's such a testament to Derek, but also how, how, uh, how everybody, you know, roots for him and, and, and plays their butt off for him to block for him. They want him to succeed. And, uh, and so I think that's a really good, um, you know, a, a really good achievement for everybody that was involved, which is the whole offense and, and really the whole team. Uh, Terry? Keith, how much, how rewarding is it to, not only to see Derek get 2,000 yards, but to also see it come with so many adjustments and so many changes having to be made on this offensive line due to all the injuries, having guys like Quisenberry and Brewer and, you know, on down the line, step in and help out. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, – it's just a testament to, you know, it, it, it is – you know, you bring up quiz and it's hard not to really kind of focus on him for a second. Just to be able to do that in Houston where he went through everything that he went through and, um, and uh, you know, for him to play – however many games it's been now, I don't even know. Uh, I don't remember, what, you know, five, six games, whatever it is, to, to get – to win – the division and get the, get that for Derek. And then for a guy like quiz, who's come as far as he has, is just amazing. And then I just can't say enough about, you know, the, the group in general. And I'm, and now I'm talking specifically about the offensive line. They are just made up of a bunch of great dudes that have a common goal. And that, and that's what makes coaching fun. You get a bunch of guys that like being together and like coming to work and, and, and share common interests and shop common goals. And, you know, it, it, it makes all the hard work and, and, and uh, sacrifice worth it. And so I think it's really cool for those guys to be able to do it the way they did it. Uh, Teresa? Keith, in addition, the guys on your offensive line, uh, you've had uh, – you've lost T Taylor, Ty, uh, Roger, Ben, uh, guy, and Dennis. You know, they've all been nursing through injuries and, and finding ways to keep being available on Sunday. Uh, and, and when somebody has gone down, somebody's been able to come in and step in. Uh, how – what is – allowing these guys to be this you know, available and continuing to be resilient and, and keep contributing? Yeah, it's a it's a great effort or great question. And it's really such a team uh, effort from our training staff to the way Vra Coach Vrabel manages these guys. And and um, and then, of course, it comes back to the players. I mean, that's what's so fun about being with this group of guys and men is that, you know, they really care about playing football for one another and and. Uh, you know, they play for the right reasons. Of course, you know, it's a job. And of course, there's up and ups and downs and everybody wants to get paid and make money and do all those things. But at the end of the day, it's fun coming to work every day because these guys care about each other and it's really important to them. So, um, you know, it's 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 pretty remarkable for someone like Brewer, who, you know, is technically undersized and and uh, 
uh, you know, comes from, you know, quote unquote, a small program in college and all those things to see him go in and play guard and function and, and, and not look out of place out of there is, is just a huge testament to him. And, and uh, he loves football and he's willing to do whatever it takes to, to play at this level. And, and he's just really fun to be around because he just loves football. So it's fun to coach those guys. And then, of course, you know, Ty coming off the bench when Taylor got hurt and then Quiz coming off the bench when Ty got hurt. And I just think, you know, and, and um, it's been a really unique year that way. But at the end of the day, these guys are really good professionals and they know and, you know, like Coach Vrabel preaches this all the time, just like John does Robinson. And it's like you got to be ready when your number's called and they've been able to do that. And it's it's something I'm really proud of um, the, the way they've been able to work, uh, work through the different situations, step in and, and, uh, and help this team win. It's been it's been pretty fun. John Glennon. Uh, Joe Rexford. Keith, Tony was talking earlier about, you know, Derek's progress uh, as a runner in terms of, you know, reading things, knowing when to hit something, sneak through something. Just wondering what you've seen uh, you know, from your perspective on that and just the, the entire operation there with the run game. Is it is there also something from the offensive line perspective that has gotten better or tighter this year to you know, increase that production? Yeah, that's another really good question. I just think, you know, in, in terms of Derek, you know, it's it's a funny, it's a slippery slope with running backs because you need to, you know, you try and coach them and, and co Tony does a great job about getting their landmarks right and how to read the defense and all that. And then there's this other element that you, you, you need to let them run with instincts. And so, I think the best runners in this league have a really good combination of both. And, and as coaches, if you if you overcoach the reads and overcoach the the perfect um, landmark and footwork and all that, and you, and you start taking away the instincts. And then if you let them run too much on instincts and not an, and and don't get them right from a discipline standpoint, and having the right tracks and stuff, you go the wrong way the other way. So I think to me, what's been really fun watching Derek grow over the last three years is just is just that, you know, watching his, um, you know, his comfort in what we're trying to do and 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 uh, come together in a way in which, you know, kind of discipline and instincts work together. And and that's been really fun. And, and you know, what's interesting about Derek is the more he carries the ball, the better he gets. And and so it's it's, you know, whether it be throughout the season or whether it be throughout a game. And he just is you know, on a mission, man. And, uh, you know, our, it's, it's, uh, it's fun to watch him do that. And I think from a line standpoint, I think, you know, just like anything else, Coach Vrabel and we all here just as the best we can preach, just find a way to get better week to week. And that's focusing on the here and now instead of the big picture. And, and these guys have done a great job doing that and, and have shown steady improvement throughout the season. Uh, Emily, thank you. You know, in losing Taylor Lewan, obviously you lose a, a Pro Bowl tackle, um, but you also lose a leader. Who have you seen kind of step up on the offensive line to to replace that? Yeah, um, you know, you lose someone like Taylor, and, and and Taylor does so many things for us, not just as a player, but he keeps the room light, and he keeps he keeps you know um, you know uh, a certain I guess um, what's the best way to say it? He, he just he keeps everything kind of moving in a, in a certain direction and, and moving forward and, and uh, you know, um, never lets it get too serious, but never lets it get too far off track and kind of just keeps you steady that way. And I think with him being gone, I think what's what's been really kind of interesting and fun to watch is it's been a collective um, group effort. And you guys mentioned Dennis area earlier and in, in, uh, some stuff he said in an interview, but He's as steady as a rock. I mean, he, he just like you just know what you're getting out of him every day. And he does a great job of of using all his experience and stuff to help everybody around him and, and hold people accountable. And you got guys like Ben Jones, who same way is a really good pro who who has been doing this a long time. And he tries to help everybody as often as possible. Same thing with Roger. I mean, I think what hap what happens is, is, you know, when Taylor got hurt, it just 
instead of coming more from one guy, it's become a group effort. And I think uh, they've all handled it really well and have uh, kind of shared that experience. And I think they're all, most of them have, a, have done this a long time and then they know when to be led and when to be leaders. And I, and uh, they've done a nice job kind of letting each, giving each other room to do just that. And just to follow, what can you say about, you know, the tight end group too, kind of coming in and helping out? It's not as simple as just plugging in, you know, a new offensive lineman when one goes down. Um, what can you say about that group too, helping you guys out? I, I can't say enough. I mean, just all those guys between Janu and and obviously uh, and Prue and Jeff and and Ferk and I mean, it, that's what that's what we really we really try to preach here that it takes all eleven people on the field to run the football and the tight ends, the receivers, they are just as important as offensive line and I really mean that. And so, you know, the, the tight ends just just it's been really fun for me because now you know we've kind of been together for three years and sometimes that's a luxury in this business and so. Um, it's been fun watching, you know, people like John who and, and Prue kind of get comfortable like like Derek has and the line has and the different things that we do and ask them to do and kind of grow together. So they are absolutely instrumental. I think Todd's done a great job with those guys. And and again, they're just, you know, they're a bunch of guys that love football and uh, want to be good. And it's fun. It's fun watching them, you know, take those baby steps, baby steps and, and keep growing. Uh, last one, Jeff. Yeah, Keith, I also want to ask you with the offensive line perspective on on playing with Ryan, blocking for Ryan, um, you know, him as a, a presence in the pocket, but also as an athletic guy who gets out, is, isn't afraid to obviously um, go throw his body around a little bit. What's what's that been like for, from the offensive line perspective? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, we have so much respect for him. And I think, you know, from an offensive line standpoint, you know, we – Whenever you block for a guy that's as tough as Ryan is, who will stand in the pocket, take a hit and deliver a football, it, it, it just it makes you want to keep him upright and, and clean even more. And I think what Ryan has proven over and over again is that regardless of the fact he plays quarterback, he's as tough as anybody on the team. And the linemen love that. And so I think they've really gravitated towards him and, and you know, his ability to obviously stand in the pocket, deliver accurate footballs, his steadiness and, and, and leadership. He's been a great leader every day too, because he again shows up and just puts so much time and work into this thing um, day in and day out. And uh, you know, I think they've grown to really respect him and trust him, and, and uh, you know, and then his ability to make quick decisions and get the ball out and not hold on to the football and stuff like that. Like, I, you know, I just think he's done a great job and, and I, I would, it's safe to say that the O-line room really appreciates that and what he brings to the table.